Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from Fighting Spirit Mania in the latter stages of the grouping. So I think this might be the loser, the loser's bracket semi. So this is one of the double. So not only was Fighting Spirit Mania seven best of sevens kind of moving across the tournament, it also was double elimination. So you had the winner's bracket and loser's bracket. This is, I believe, the loser's bracket semis or loser's bracket final, somewhere around there. Upper left-hand corner, Ziki starting as the Green Zerg. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Bebito Fui Fui, a.k.a. Terror, the Peruvian Terran Supreme. Something about those Peruvian Terrans. I don't know what it is about Peru and Terran players in particular, but they just seem to have incredible, incredible levels of Terran play. And in particular, Terror has just all sorts of antics he can pull. I've seen him go mech, I've seen him go all sorts of builds and just really throws his opponent off guard. But he's going up against Zeki, who is arguably the best foreigner Zerg out there. Hopefully our force built. And of course you guys know the map since this is Fighting Spirit Mania. Terra thus far going ahead and setting up that supply depot on the front, potentially for a front door seal. Looks like he is going to open up with a, a barracks along that edge. Create a skeleton of a defense. Zeki going for a very safe overpool to start in his matches versus Terror. Between these two, I might favor Terror just a little bit. Zeki, an extremely strong Zerg player, but I feel like his versus Terran is his weakest matchup. In previous seasons of BSL, eliminated twice by Mihu, they were very, very close games. Seemed like across the board, but I feel like versus, his versus Protoss is strongest. Going ahead and plopping that hatchery there. But I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy watching Zeki play. His multitask is incredible, his Zergling micro is extremely strong. Thank you for the follow. This is a plan Nostro Trio. Drone going ahead and harassing that depot. Is he able to reach that? So occasionally able to be annoying at the very least, getting a couple shots off at that SCV before taking some damage himself and scurrying off. Command center now on the way. Initial Zerglings being produced from Zeki, but only one Zergling being peeled off. This is interesting. Curious why he's getting aggressive with these Zerglings. Maybe he wants to go ahead and just take some damage. Yeah, and harass these supply depots. Force SCVs off the line. One Zergling taking damage, but it can just trade out. Forcing group repair. Continuing with that aggression. Terry going, doing a good job of multitasking. Did that Zergling break off? Because I feel... So one of those... Maybe that Zergling just lost track. So there's four. Yeah, so this Zergling not doing its job. I think that Zergling was meant to stay and attack that SCV. And with that multitasking, forced the draw back. But instead, getting lazy was in the control group. I think just ended up trailing after that attack. You guys confirm that on the minimap afterwards. Lair being built. So movements towards... Two hatch lair. SV taking a little bit of damage, but continuing along, keeping that scouting information. In the meantime, Terra has that refinery. He's going to go straight to Academy. What is back here? Always want to select it. Engineering Bay as well. So it looks like it's going to be that one racks eBay into Academy build to help deal, get plus one weapons out a little bit earlier and help deal with Mutalisks and get map control a little bit more rapidly. SV. Finally taken out, but confirms, all but confirms the layer timing. One thing though is Terror has not been continually pumping Marines here on the front. And oftentimes, Zergling floods as far as a follow up. And let's see if ZE tests this and builds a lot of Zerglings, because one thing that this can be weak against is that Zergling pressure at the natural expansion, because you are small, just lower in Marine counts. No, he's... Wow, look at this play. So going for the eBay, plus one weapons, academy, but dropping three barracks. 
immediately, and I don't know if this will be in time to deal with the Mutalist count that Zeki's able to to produce. We'll see. So comp setting, double comp setting, confirming spire timing. Maybe with an overproduction of turrets as far as a follow-up. I trust Terror that this potentially will work, but this is going to be a really tough defense, especially at that front door because the spire is going to finish. You're going to have maybe five or six marines. So maybe group repair will keep that alive, but I think this is, I mean, Zeki, I would expect to maybe go for it and try to pummel this front door with Mutalisk support. Turret near the barracks line to keep the marines alive there at the natural expansion as well. And maybe this is just... It looks like it might play out, though. Because eight marines now produced and more siphoning... Or more siphoning, more adding. I'm not sure I want to say the word siphoning today. More tacking on. Opening Zerklings. <laughs> immediately pushing in. Getting that quick marine kill and immediately back out. And this is a testament to... Zeki's micro only losing two Zerglings for a Marine there. Mutalists are taking flight. It is a three hatch play. Plus one weapons being upgraded. And now Terror all of a sudden. He's going to have plus one weapons. He's going to have... He's got Stim. He's going to have range in not too long. Potentially going to be able to deal with these Mutalists fairly rapidly. So they're plus one weapons finishing. And he's got a decent Medic Marine Ball out on the field. So, interesting turnaround play, and now he's got five barracks whirling. Third base being grabbed, fourth hatchery overall. But a very rapid movement towards the mid game. And the Mutalists now have to worry about these Medic Marines with plus one weapons coming out in large numbers. Trying to cut off reinforcements here does pick off an SCV. Nice micro right there. But I kind of, wow, I, that's the first time I think I've seen that build executed and really paying off here I think maybe because a larger rush distance in fighting spirit makes it more viable Zeki choosing his engagement point along that bridge finding isolated marines and actually getting pretty good kills for very little losing Mulus there single zergling getting taken out to the north plus one weapons not that far from finishing She'll make the Mutalisk hit harder, but still going to have them be very, very fragile. Man, Zeki just microing at the perfect edge to take minimal damage. Drones transferring to the upper right to go ahead and get that third gas. Another Mutalisk being wiped out. Medic's actually looking a little bit low. Well, two of them looking a little bit low on energy because of all of the stimming that Terra's needed to do against Zeki's Mutalisks here. Another grouping of Marines in the wings to go ahead and siphon forward. Some Marines splitting off. Able to kill those three drones that were transferred in the upper right. Going to get some bonus kills as well. These meals going to be drawn back. So nice. So not only Terra able to stymie the economy a bit. But getting a lot of drone kills on that transfer. I don't think he's going to get this hatchery. But also forcing these meals out of position to deal with it. And while that's happening, marching forward with his Medic Marine Ball on the front, I don't think he's... Yeah, he doesn't want to attack this. Three-something colonies already there, but he can go ahead and set up camp. No, he's going for it! With those Mutalisks out of position to the north. Maybe hoping they're out of position, and a bit of a misstep from Terror... I think he thought those Mutalisks hadn't gotten back to main base in time and instead loses all of those medics and all of those marines. Zeke planting a queen's nest in the upper right hand corner. Ten marines trying to walk to that upper right. They're going to get picked off as well. As soon as, well, never mind. As soon as Zeke regroups. Plus one weapons is online. Zeke having trouble grouping these up and microing them, unfortunately. Does he have a trap zergling anywhere? Still using the Overlord grouping to make it happen. Back to the bridge. 
but Terror does have five barracks running, double starport, and Radiate just finishing. Queen's Nest now online. Third gas in position, Hive just starting. Plus one armor, plus one weapons for Terror, tacking on two additional barracks to bring the total count up to six. Terror still boxed into his base, however. Creep Colony being dropped in the upper right hand corner to provide a little bit of padding defense. And some Zerglings scrambling around, maybe to go ahead and go for another wipeout here. Clear the Medic Marines once again. Maybe go for a run by towards the main. Nice irradiate. Let's see if he can get. Can he get a split? Terror chasing after that ball as well, making sure that as the mutalists were being held at the corner with that split, he's able to get additional mutalist kills. Terra moving out once again. There, there is this grouping of Zerglings that could go for a run by. Terra very diligently, though, keeping this force in between. Zerglings confirming position. Only the single sunk on the front. Lurkers morphing. Lurkers need to burrow in a hurry. One of them burrowing, but not before an irradiate drops. Zerglings now making their way out. Mutilus trying to position as well. Looks like they're going to get wiped out. Ziki flubbing a bit of his troop movement here, uncharacteristically. The Zerglings coming in from underneath the Mutalists as well, and all of them getting wiped out. Too large an attack force. Terror now solidly in position. Can go ahead and drop the Irradiates and sneak back and forth. Defiler Mound on the way. But honestly, Terror might... If he can take out a couple additional Lurkers with these Irradiates, might even want to shoot the gap here. Zergling's getting wiped out. Ziki having some army control problems. More Marines hanging out at the front just in case. And look at this base from Terror. It's just all sorts of stuff glowing. More Science Vessel is going to take the front. The Science Vessel count growing. Plus one weapons, plus two weapons, probably gonna... Can I select that? I'm trying to select it. Plus two weapons, not that far off. Bit of a skeleton crew of a defense force here in the upper right-hand corner. A defense matrix might be able to wipe that out. Terror marching up there now. Ultralis Cavern being built on location there. Consume being upgraded. So Ziki, at the very least... Going to be able to hold that, but a big supply lead currently for Terror. Economic lead for Ziki if he can cap that upper right-hand base. Science Vessel scooting out, going ahead. Dropping Irradiates. Confirming the troop count. Hydralis moving out of position. Able to get a little bit of damage done, but now... Terror able to seal in Ziki comes it's kind of the waiting game is is how effect how efficient is terror at getting armies in position here and dropping irradiates and just chewing through these forces it's got a lot of science vessels to work with and that count is growing actually adding battle cruisers in the midst of this so terror can also go ahead and move out and grab his third if he wants to but right now he's basically got ziki boxed in Gonna force some gas expenditure. Ziki trying to punch through at his main. However, that getting quickly obliterated. Looking for some way to get out of the map. Able to drop a swarm to go ahead and clear some of the troops back. I think a science vessel, never mind, the science vessel count's still holding. Terror, I mean, look at this. 146 supply versus 94. That Dark Swarm is going to be extremely important to keep Ziki in this match. He's already had, gone ahead and built that third. He's going to float it out. Science Vessel scooting forward, dropping the continual radiates, forcing these defilers to be replenished. Bunch of macro hatches in the background for Ziki. Double Evolution Chamber as well. 
But the battle cruiser is scooping up. It's going to force, and that, keep in mind it was plus one weapons, not plus one armor. Which means Scourge are going to need to, they can get one shot by the battle cruisers, so they need to be in pretty sizable numbers to land that shot. Mutal's trying to engage and slow these battle cruisers down off that natural expansion to get sufficient anti-air. Great plague, though, on the science vessels over the natural. There is a single spore colony, but it looks like the battle cruiser is just going to punch through it. So Terror, here come, while those battle cruisers are distracted, looks like they are going to get wiped up. That's still gas that Ziki didn't want to expend. A second spore colony up just in the nick of time, however, a little bit out of position to defend the Nidus Canal. Finally wiped out. Ultralis Cavern dropping the upgrades. Fourth gas online for Ziki. Thus far holding two dropships full of units, making their way up to the upper right hand to maybe go for a killer attack there. Medic Marines being pushed out by Defiler and Zerglings with Adrenal Upgrade off the front. Some of them pocketing the north. Looks like a big Defiler's dropped and the dropships now repositioning to the main. A lot of juicy targets here. And it doesn't look like Ziki spotted it. Zerglings moving in to defend. And Ziki with the solid defense. Able to clear out those Marines before they're really able to touch anything. So just expending Zerglings. Terra continuing to try to tr elevator some of these troops up. Maybe you should think better of it. Because these are maybe just wants to clear supply. Gonna wander into the main. Ziki not scouting it though. Looks like he was busy trying to shove these Marines off the front. And that's allowing Terra to go ahead and drop and get some additional damage. Looks like he might get an Overlord. Might get the spawning pool. Zerglings rushing up to go ahead and defend there. Terra is not yet mining at that 9 o'clock base, but he does have that in reserve. More plague being dropped here. However, Ziki right now in the red. Terra still way up in supply. And the science vessel count still holding. Another drop, upper right hand corner over the natural expansion. Gonna chew through some drones here. Nidus Canal's gone, Sunken Colony's gone. Zerglings continuing to stream out. They're getting wiped out by that Marine Force in position. More battle cruisers moving up for terror. Looks like they're gonna take out that gas potentially. Just kind of an annoyance in the background and more dropships up on the high ground. Terror near double the supply. First Ultra is taking the field. But plus three weapons already online. That is level three Carapace, however. Ultra is still getting a lot of kills. Ultras are so strong. Plague dropped over that edge. It looks like those Marines are gonna be cleaned up at that natural, but not before it's emptied. Ziki down to 31 drones. Nine o'clock base being saturated by terror as main is mined out. Seven barracks glowing. Double starport. I'm almost wondering if he's thinking about dropping a third. Battle cruisers wiped. All right, never mind. Battle cruisers still hovering over that natural expansion, able to wipe out that gas and getting some bonus Zergling kills going after defilers. Potentially going to breach here at the natural. Yeah, Marine just going to use that defense matrix to clear out. There's only these three lurkers over that edge. No defenses left except for the lurkers. And they are gone. Ziki's natural expansion now breached. The hatchery under heavy fire. Science vessels getting wiped out. Ziki backing off, trying to clear out the air, but it's getting completely swatted. Reinforcements moving up. Terror. Able to penetrate Ziki's defenses. Looking to walk up into the main potentially momentarily. Ziki clearing out the troops to the upper right at the very least. Maybe can move some reinforcements. But more science vessels, more marines now joining the fray. Single Ultralis on the defense. Ziki's base starting to 
crack along the edges. More defense matrix. And it looks like Terra may have done it. Hatchery is now being taken out. There are defilers. A defiler getting consumed to finally drop a swarm. Battlecruiser is now migrating to the upper right hand base. Doing a lot of damage here. A plague drop, so maybe Ziki can evict these Marines that way, but Overlords are getting wiped out of the air. While all this is happening, the Defiler, sorry, an Ultralis getting irradiated. And Terror just with some latent troops all over the place inside Ziki's bases. Upper right hand corner, no longer mining. So it's two base, effectively two base mining. I missed a counterattack at the nine o'clock location. It looks like some Zerglings were able to wipe out a command center there. So a bit of a reprieve for Ziki. Terra actually mined out, though. So he needs to get something done with these attacks. Firebats and Marines now moving up to the upper right-hand corner. Science vessels, battlecruisers, and some medics still in the upper left. Here's the thing. If Ziki can hold on, though, Terra might mine out. He's distance mining at the 9 o'clock. Nidus can out... Attempting to be built, the Marines stimming forward, Defiler trying to move up, but they're... A plague being dropped, catching some of the drones as well. Lurker is moving forward to go ahead and try to clear this out. Science vessels now, it looks like Ziggy has cleared out the forces at his main. He still holds the bases, he's just not mining anywhere. Terra in the meantime, able to get his 9 o'clock location back up. Terra still with double the supply. Some more battle cruisers moving forward. This is turning into an insane match now. So right now, is Ziki mining? Ziki's mining at his main. He's going to call GG right there. Just because he's not mining at any... I mean, this base wiped out. This base wiped out. Very low on troops to defend. More troops potentially coming, and it looks like that base did come online at the 9 o'clock location. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Game go game one going to terror in a wild one. Fun matches. Thanks for listening.